So today we're going to assemble the Orion telescope that you can um, run out from the circulation desk. First of all, what's in this bag when you will run it out? Open it up. bag of tools that you have and to start off just like right here you can take out the tripod the first thing that you will do in assembling this is putting together the stand and you'll need Two of these skinny screws. There are bolts on the bottom of that. Yes, there are also these tiny bolts. And you'll just slide that through. Make sure. You can tighten that as much as you want with this tool. So basically on this, there's just two corners that these uh, screws and bolts are going to go in to secure the tripod. So they've also given us in the uh, bag, we're giving you a Phillips head screwdriver. Next step is you'll grab these two clamps and these will go right here and you'll grab the clamp without the iPhone holder or GoPro or whatever you want to call it. With this facing down, you'll put it over top and the bolts will screw in from the bottom. So, they also come with washers. Okay. And you want to make sure these are both on the same side. So these two need to be on the same side. Mm -hmm. yeah. That screws in from the bottom also. And it also comes with... So the third tool you just grab is just a small wrench that we've given you in the bag. Mm -hmm. Probably if you have a friend, would it be easier to put a second person in there to hold it? Oh yeah. Awesome. You want to hold that for me? Pull it all the way down? Yep. Let me get the thread started. Next, you can take the actual telescope out of the bag. And if awesome, you open it, you undo these as much as possible to open them up. Not too much, so they come off, but open it up and you can lay right. the telescope. Make sure we don't drop it. <laughs> Not drop it. So if you have a second person there, make sure they hang on to it. And then
So basically what he's doing, he's putting the clamp over top, flipping up, and make sure there's a down tight enough that it does not fall out. And then next, you have two of these. Okay. And you want to undo it. So a little screw in there. So right now up. he has the short one, so one's longer yeah. than the other. And you grab the short one, and the short one goes on the side, on this little knob. And you can see there's a little tooth, and that's where the screw goes in and locks it. So you just want to tighten that a little bit. And you'll see that that can and you can make it rotate. And you can actually put it on either side, just put it whichever you prefer. And then the large, the longer one goes back here. So undo it until it slides on. Tighten it a little bit. Next thing you want to do is find the counterweight. And this should be still on the bar. Might be off, but if it is, just undo that and it slides up and up up and down, but make sure it's tight, and that gets screwed in right here. Oh. Awesome. Oops. Yeah. So y'all just learned a lesson there that <laughs> it can tip over. Slowly. That is what the counterweight's for. Yeah, that is exactly what the counterweight is for. off as well as this just got my fingernails in there and just kind of pry that out and then I would recommend setting everything that you have including the tools you've used down in that little triangle down there mm -hmm. and you have give you uh, we give you three types of lenses here and again just throw everything down on that tray you just go ahead and pop that off, and then tighten these. So on top here, there's a there is a laser finder, and. The knob right here turns it on and off, so this will help you determine exactly what you're right. finding. And you'll look up in there, you'll see like a little laser point. And that'll help you point. This rotates it, I believe, left and right, right? Mm -hmm. Left and right, and then the other one Good. is going to be... I really don't know what that angle is. <laughs> so if you want to hook up uh, your phone to the eyepiece here, we've given you an adapter and it's going to be either sitting up on here or somewhere in the bag and it looks pretty much just like that. And you kind of loosen it up. You might have to open this up a little bit to get your phone to put in. And so we have a phone here all ready to go. And this is a what? Samsung S8. So it's an S8, Plus. so it's big enough to fit that. We slide that in there, and we're going to tighten it down so it does not fall out. And we're going to go over here, and we're going to tighten it down. And obviously, you got to find where your, your lens is. In this case, I have to have that phone come down a little bit more. Just slide it down. 
You just gotta make the adjustments to get it right there at that point. So when you're barring this, um, more than likely you're gonna be setting it up at dusk, so you're probably gonna have some light. And you kind of set your stuff out as you're putting it together, you're gonna have your parts. So you might wanna just put your parts down into this here so you don't lose them for later. Um, you know, put your lens cap close by, or if you want to put everything back in the bag, I set of your tools in the center underneath. So when you're done for the night and it's dark, you're going to have everything kind of right underneath. You won't be stepping on it, and it'll be easy to find. And then when you go to close it down, a couple of things to think about. It is going to be dark, so I recommend having your phones fully charged and have your flashlight ready because you will need it. So when you're taking this thing apart, probably at night, it's gonna be hard to see if you're out in the dark. Uh, it's probably not a bad idea to have a flashlight with you and make sure your phone's got full charge so you can use your flashlight. So now we're gonna show the disassembly. And first, if you were actually using it, you'd wanna take your lens out. Collect all your lenses, and you can go ahead and put those back in the bag. Take everything off here, maybe lay it on top of the bag. Go ahead and put this sensor on, sensor down. And also, the lens cap. And that goes on. Tighten those if you want. First thing is, unscrew. So the two brackets that are holding it, he's basically just unscrewing it and loosening it. Yep. At this point, it'd be a, probably if you have two people, it's a great idea to have the other person put their hand on it. If you want to take hold of the telescope, and I'll release the brackets. And you can lift it up. And that's back. Safely put it in. Does it matter which way it's facing? Uh, kinda. Works a little bit better with the easy finder yeah, facing in, in okay. whatever you want to call it. Towards the middle of the bag. Then. Yeah, towards the middle. Strap it in. Next thing, you can unscrew the counterweight, since that is one of the most heaviest pieces to this telescope. For everybody who doesn't know this, lefty loosey, righty tighty. Mm -hmm. yep. And it has its own spot in the bag. Similar to the telescope. And then next you can take apart the two um, I don't know what you want to call these <coughs> handles. So you just notice that that little s screw came all the way out. Yeah. So be very careful that those are yeah. not uh, designed to be stuck on those. They will come mm -hmm. completely off and so if you drop it in the grass and it's yeah. dark. Yeah, so make sure they're just screwed all the way in when you're putting them back into the bag and that they're there. You can put these right next to the lenses. And then next, you can actually clamp these back together. Once these are back together, you can grab your tiny wrench that came with it, and you can release these slowly. Then you want to watch out for the screw dropping. The screws, yes, the screws to drop. So these could very easily fall out into the grass, or wherever, or wherever. <laughs> 
and you put these right next to the lenses also. Next thing you want to do is release this. So there's three parts where it's connected to the tripod. We're going to just release two of them so that it hangs and we can uh, make sure you don't have anything on there because that will drop. And then you can put the bolts back on the screws a little bit. And that can go next to the lenses. And then the tripod's going to go on the one side, on the other side of all the other stuff. So you can go ahead and velcro this middle piece together. This little pad connect, uh, protecting the telescope from the actual tripod. Pick up this tripod. and lay it down carefully. The head of the tripod goes on the opposite side of the counterweight and the telescope because there's more room for it. And then close it up. All right, this is one app of many you can use to find stars. Uh, you just it's called star tracker you'll open it up and wherever you're pointing your phone at it'll be able to sort of show you what stars what main stars are in that direction um, show you constellations you can use this to sort of get a general area of where to point your telescope if you know the s specific area you want to look so for example you want, wanted to see the hydra constellation you would point your telescope in this direction. Um, again, this is one app in many. You can use it. All, all sorts of uh, star tracking apps. Um, this one is called um, Star Tracker, but there's hundreds on the app store if you uh, want one that can sort of direct you where to find the star you're looking for.